I also wanted to talk about so Myth Informed sent out this tweet today. Now, I actually generally like Myth Informed. I really do. And I think that they were being a little flip in this, but I also want to just combine it with this to make a larger point. So Myth Informed is talking about anti-racist math. We've talked about anti-racist math extensively on this channel. I don't feel the need to rehash it. If you want to know more about anti-racist math, just look up, search within my channel, not general YouTube, but search within my channel, anti-racist math, and you'll get some more information about that. We've done extensive reviews of anti-racist math literature. We've watched training, stuff like that. Myth Informed tweeted out earlier today, they call math racist to get the attention that feeds their narcissism. No, this is incorrect. Myth Informed is not correct about this. And I don't, I don't blame them. I understand why they're saying it. So no, no shade on the myth informed guys. I think that they do a really, really good job. But something that a lot of people really need to understand, and I do actually write about this in the book. People like to call the woke narcissists. They think that all their crazy behaviors with, with wanting people to validate their existence and validate who they are as people, they think it all comes from narcissism. It does not come from narcissism. It does not. It's actually the exact opposite of narcissism. The woke have a profound issue with self-esteem. They have a profound issue with self-worth. And these are people, the people that get caught up, the really true believers, and even some of the useful idiots in this ideology, but definitely the true believers, a lot of them have never really had to overcome major obstacles in their lives. They really haven't. They've been catered to, they've been coddled, they haven't developed resiliency in school because everyone got a trophy, everyone was a winner, they, they didn't, you know, they, they literally believe that the government should take care of them. When you, don't, when you don't encounter adversity in life, when you don't do a good job of building up resiliency, it is an issue of self-worth. It is an issue of self-esteem. It is an issue of not feeling good enough. When we are looking for validation from other people, it is because we don't feel good enough about ourselves. We haven't given ourselves the validation that we, that we are looking for from other people. Narcissists do not need validation from other people. I'm going to say this again. Narcissists, real narcissists, real narcissistic personality disorder. They do not need validation from other people. It would never even cross their mind to require validation from other people because they quite literally build their entire worldview around them being the center of the universe, them being the best, them being the smartest, them being the most accomplished, them being the richest, them having the most perfect life that has ever been created, them being in the presidency, the literal presidency, I do actually believe Donald Trump is a narcissist, for better or worse, um, them being the CEO, them being the boss. They don't need validation from other people. And people don't understand this. They think that it is all about narcissism. It is not. It is the opposite of narcissism. It is a profound lack of self-worth. But the other point I want to make is this. Is anti-racist math is not, is not about self-worth. It's not about narcissism. It's not about any of these things. The ultimate goal of the woke is to gain as much power as possible so they can destabilize the system so they can attack capitalism, so they can usher in their little Marxist utopia. Going to say it again. The number one goal of the woke, whether they're using critical race theory or gender or trans or, or protesting or anything else, they're trying to gain as much political power as possible so they can destabilize the system, so they can attack capitalism, so they can usher in their little Marxist utopia. That's it. That is their ultimate goal for everything that they are trying to do. We've got to start looking at it through that lens. When you see someone saying the woke do this because of narcissism. No, no, 
the woke are pushing anti-racist math in education because anti-racist math destabilizes the system by dumbing down the populace. When I say anti-racist math, they're not teaching math. They're singing songs about math. They're having discussions about their feelings around math. They're thinking about equity. They're doing all sorts of social justice-related stuff. But they're not learning math. In fact, in anti-racist math, teachers are not even allowed to correct students. Because if a student gets the wrong answer, they just may be using different math. They may be using math of the ancestors. And teachers need to respect the fact that students need to be driving the discussion when it comes to education. And it would just be wrong for a teacher to correct a student because they might be doing completely different math. You got to let the students lead. This is literally in the anti-racist math teacher training textbooks. Anti-racist math also says that you don't even need to have a consistent progression through math. So under anti-racist math, if a student fails Algebra 1, they will still be promoted to Algebra 2. Because under anti-racist math, they literally say, well, they suck at Algebra 1, but do they really need to know Algebra 1 to be able to do Algebra 2? That is literally in the anti-racist math teacher training textbook. All this is about is gaining more power to destabilize the system to attack capitalism, to usher in their little Marxist utopia. They do not get their little Marxist utopia that they all want, that all those Twitter employees were talking about earlier. They're commie AF. They don't get their little Marxist utopia unless they destabilize the system. Anti-racist math is about destabilizing the system. It's not about narcissism. It's not about anything else other than gaining as much power as possible so they can destabilize the system so they can attack capitalism so they can usher in their little Marxist utopia. And I will say it as many times as I need to before every single one of you memorizes these points so that we can all be on the same page when it comes to this.